Hello everyone, you are welcome to Math Explorer. In this video, I am going to solve this nice algebra math problem, which is m plus n is equal to 8 and m times n is equal to 48. So here we will try to find the value of n and m. Now to solve it, first of all, let us suppose this is equation number first and this is equation number second. Now here we will take equation number first and from here we will make m as a subject of that equation. So equation number first is m plus n is equal to 8. Now here we will move this 8 to the right hand side. So this will become m is equal to 8 minus n. Now let us suppose this is equation number star. Now here we will substitute the value of m which is 8 minus n in equation number second. Equation number second is m times n is equal to 48. Here the value of m is 8 minus n. 8 minus n times n is equal to 48. Now here we multiply this in inside. So 8 times n is 8n minus n times n is n square here, and here we will move this to the left hand side so it will become minus 40 add is equal to 0 now let us rearrange these terms according to their degrees this will become minus n square plus 8n minus 48 is equal to 0 now here the coefficient of n square is negative, we need it to make it positive. So for that, we will multiply this equation by negative 1. So multiply negative 1 on both sides of this equation, this will become, here the sign of these terms will be changed. It will become n square, it will become minus 8n, and it will become plus 48 is equal to 0 times minus 1 is 0. Now here this is the quadratic equation. Now here we cannot solve this quadratic equation by factorization method. So here we will use the quadratic formula. So for that formula we will need the values of a, b and c. Now the value of a which is the coefficient of n square which is 1. The value of b which is the coefficient of n which is minus 8. And the value of c which is the constant term 48. Now the quadratic formula is n is equal to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 ac divided by 2a. Now let us substitute the values of a, b and c in this equation in the right hand side. So this will become the value of b is minus a plus minus square root of e square b is minus 8 square minus 4 a c a is 1 c is 48 divided by 2 times 1 further it will become n is equal to negative time negative is positive it will become plus 8 plus minus square root of negative 8 square is 64 minus here, 8 times 4 is 32, 2, 3 will be carried, 4 times 4 is 16, 16 plus 3 is 19. So the product of 4 times 48 gives them 192, divided by 2 times 1 is 2. So further it will become 8 plus minus square root of 64 minus 192 gives him minus 128 divided by 2. We can write this number further as 8 plus minus we can write this negative 128 as 64 times 2 times minus 1 divided by 2. Then next we will split this square root over these three numbers. So this will become n is equal to 
8 plus minus it will become square root of 64 times square root of 2 times square root of negative 1 divided by 2 n is equal to a plus minus square root of 64 is 8 times square root of 2 and here this is a complex identity square root of minus 1 is equal to iota i so this will become iota divided by 2 and next we will take 2 common from the numerators this will become n is equal to taking 2 common this will become 4 plus minus 4 times square root of 2 iota divided by 2 and here we will cancel these two with each other so n is equal to 4 plus minus 4 times square root of 2 iota so here actually we have two possible values of n one is positive and one is negative so we will write these values here and then we will find the corresponding values of m and the first value of n is n1 is equal to 4 plus 4 times square root of 2 iota and the second value of n is 4 minus 4 times square root of 2 iota now here we will try to find the corresponding values of m so for that we will use equation number star that is m is equal to 8 minus m so here we will use equation number star which is m is equal to 8 minus n so here the value of m1 will become m1 will become 8 minus n1 and the value of m2 will become 8 minus n2 and here we will substitute the values of n1 and n2 and we will find the value of m1 and m2 so this will become m1 is equal to 8 minus the value of n1 is 4 plus 4 times square root of 2 iota this will become 4 plus 4 times square root of 2 iota so 8 minus 4 minus 4 times square root of 2 iota now 8 minus 4 is 4 minus 4 times square root of 2 iota so this is the value of m1 and here we will try to find the value of m2 now so far the value of m2 we will use the value of n2 that is 4 minus 4 times square root of 2 iota so m2 will become 8 minus n2 is 4 minus 4 times square root of 2 iota now again we will multiply this negative sign inside the parenthesis so it will become 8 minus 4 negative time negative is positive 4 times square root of 2 iota so here the value of m2 will become 8 minus 4 is 4 plus 4 times square root of 2 iota so this is the value of m2 so finally we find out the value of n1 n2 and m1 and m2 so here we have two possible solutions the first one solution is m1 comma n1 is and here the value of m1 is 4 minus 4 times square root of 2 iota comma and the value of n1 is 4 plus 4 times square root of 2 iota this is our first solution and uh, the second solution is m2 comma n2 which is the value of m2 is 4 plus 4 times square root of 2 iota comma and the value of n2 is 4 minus 4 times square root of 2 iota so this is our second solution 
So finally we have two possible solutions which are these in this nice algebra math problem. Now in last if you like this video so don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel. Thanks for watching.